Hello everyone, this is Jason. So what we're gonna do a little different video today and uh, I'm gonna talk about what is the realistic price that you will be paying for one of these little escalators in the US domestic market. Okay, so uh, if you have not done so, please hit subscribe or like and uh, let's get started. So first, it's very hard to compare these uh, machines is because they vary so much. Like this one in the video, you see uh, it has no covers. Uh, it has no cover for the hydraulic components, hoses. For me, I would not get that just because in my work situation, something's gonna fall and the hydraulic hose is gonna get snagged, it's gonna break off. But if it works for you, it fits your needs, you can get one and you can get one for get one for less than three thousand dollars and um so that's fairly good price um since these excavators has becoming more uh, available and common and um, two big uh feature that has been pretty much standardized is the hydraulic fluid filtration and uh cooling and so let's just go ahead and compare um these little excavators assuming that these two features are in there and um, without boom swing gasoline engine model for us in the u.s the first place we always look is the craigslist and the craigslist um, i have find that i always am able to find some uh, people selling them uh, small individuals that import a few pieces of equipment at a time uh, and sell them and the average price I have been looking at is about eleven thousand uh, dollars Some are marked a little higher, but I think they eventually come down just because these are becoming a lot more available And uh, they the people are realizing that they won't be able to get you know for uh, such a high price um, and also the then the next source that you can find is uh, this dealer or this distributor um, they import and put the label groundhog and he's very aggressive at importing and you can see from his YouTube he got like 30 of them lined up on the field um, so you can find people like that distributing selling um, and uh, the average price is, again 9,000 10,000 is pretty normal and this guy has a lot of different models so that you may be able to find something that fits your need also uh, the third option we see is auction size um, so with equipment auctions I have been seeing these pop up uh, in every auction at least one if not two and in this case um, the two close at eight thousand and seventy five hundred and remember you always have to add the ten percent auction fee uh, to it and um, still less than nine thousand dollars so actually not a bad deal um, in this particular case I think it's a really good deal just because it this machine actually has a boom swing you see that in the picture and it comes with three buckets so it's really for work it's set up ready for to work so it's, it's pretty good deal I, I consider um and of course there's a, the other option is to buy direct from the factory and this is just a short um, video screenshot with my sales a few months ago and the gasoline model is selling at 3650 uh, adding the shipping and the taxes and all that, roughly about two thousand dollars. So, so the total cost is around fifty seven hundred dollars. This is very attractive, and it will be very feasible if you live in the East Coast, West Coast, or the Gulf of Mexico uh, states, because then it will allow you to import directly to the ports, and uh, after it clears the custom, you can pick it up. Um, so if not, if you don't live in these states, then uh, you got to think creatively because, you know, once it gets to the port and then into your states, it could get pretty expensive. Then it's almost not worth it. So unless you can import one yourself, um, the average price that you'll find is around ten, nine thousand dollars $9,000 for the most basic gasoline model ones. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you think of uh, a price like this. Okay, uh, if you, so if you have a rental yard or if you are thinking of selling these machines and don't know what is a reliable um, 
escalator for you. Uh, you can keep on watching uh, because I'm going to talk a little bit about my landscape buddy. And uh, if you want to import a whole container load, you know, 20 pieces at a time, uh, let me know. Uh, I can help you out with that. Okay. Anyways, uh, if you would like to get a um, landscape buddy excavator, and of course my excavator is set up in a little different different way, uh, just for safety reasons. And my excavator always comes with the hydraulic thumb, and uh, it's a two-part hydraulic thumb. It actually comes apart if you just do diggings. Uh, you don't have to take out the whole thumb uh, if it's in the way. So it always comes with a hydraulic thumb, always comes with three buckets. That's just a standard. And uh, also boom swing. So I have those upgrades. In consideration, I think my machines are better set up. Please visit the uh, video description for more information on how to get hold of me or uh, prices on these and how you can order one. And um, if you are in the Midwest, I just uh, try to figure a creative way to, so that uh, you can get your hands on one of these uh, landscape buddies. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.